Hello my friends of Watery Labs, welcome to the third part of this tutorial, the modeling of mixing zones of effluent discharge on C. Yep. So right now it has already run for maybe three minutes, something like that. And the final time is 180 seconds and the outputs are printed every three every three seconds. Yep, so we actually have zero, three, six, nine and so till 180 okay so okay we are going to see some results here okay so we can we can run paraform and paraform will bring paraview into the our desktop and it's it's automatic i mean you don't have to do much you just have to say apply and first of all this is the pressure this is the static pressure. Yep. Mm -hmm. There is some suction here. Do you see this? Yep. Uh, let me show you. Oh. Oh. Yep. In okay. So and then I found a very interesting. Uh, something very interesting is this one that is a point identification so here you have pressure I ah, know this is ah, okay I think that this is pressure minus hydrostatic head the P rho HD rho H okay right so then what do we have? We have velocity. Okay. We have velocity, so we have the effluent and as well there is the sea current and as well there is the current in the whole of the whole sea. Also, so in in all of this direction of 0 0.05. Okay. Great. And what else there are? There is water and water is in the whole sea and there is only effluent on the and this this is the effluent and this effluent is um, is just on the on this channel then this is more channel okay but look if we run we can see how the effluent is mixing with the mixes with the seawater yeah okay and we can do a loop here Okay, if you see how it is mixing, so how water is mixing with C with the with the C, okay, for the conditions of your effluent and for the condition of the C. And this is very interesting because actually you can do some analysis and then for example you want to Yes. P. Let's see that this is the furthest point, or where is actually. Okay. So okay, I will do a pause here. So this. Um, P two. P. Okay, and then we say apply, and then we see we see that the mixing zone well let's see that this maybe it's a little bit further from P to mm -hmm. to P okay it will be 8 meters so in 8 meters you have a dilution of your effluent that goes from 0 0.2 from 1 to maybe 0 uh, let's see let's use this beautiful zero point zero two. so actually it is being diluted more than 50 times okay no wait 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 Let's put a at the end. Yep. Let's see here. 
so in 138 seconds after the discharge the effluent is being diluted like to 0 0.05 so it's been diluted 20 times yeah and this happens in less than eight meters yeah this is really important when you want to assess the implication the impact of some of a discharge over a water body yeah because sometimes if you deal with um, if you don't have this this type of calculation handy like you can most probably you will fall into the over like a kind of conservatism yeah on your calculations yeah and then you start to doing some uh, some dark some uh, see under underwater emitters and so on but when there is actually a very low area of impact from your discharge okay but this is I mean right now the calculation is only from water and effluent as percentage but what happens if you would like to to know uh, not not only the percentage but actually concentration of a water chemistry component okay so we are going to do this and then we are going to do a representation of a water chemistry component because actually you want to relate something I mean a component of your effluent and how this is distributed on sea current okay so look here this is your this is the the results every result has air odor and water so air effluent and water but um, here I have done a Python code yeah and this Python code actually goes where the where to here to this okay and this Python code actually what it will do it will mix water or the component in water with the component in the effluent it will wait from it will it will get the final component concentration okay so Hello. Um, so this is this code is actually you have to to root to the to your um, to the folder where you are working yep yeah? and we'll read all the res all results and we'll we'll press a footer here while look for this component the concent the water concentration like the component the initial con initial concentration in water of the component is 0 0.001 so it's really low and the effluent actually br will bring 0 0.02 yeah and here as well you have to insert 0 0.2 0 0.2 so if you want to say 0 0.3 here you have to 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 type it as well okay and then you run this and actually what this code will do it will open this it will uh, compress it will mix the effluent with the water according with the con with their concentrations and then it will create another file and it will compress it again okay so just look and then run all wrong okay so here the have you seen this so ag alpha component is already here yeah and that's it so actually what you want or what is available is okay we say applying so here we have the pressure then we have as well the alpha air we have the alpha water we have the alpha order and here in alpha component is actually not the percentage of the component it's not the percentage of the component in the cell but it's rather the concentration okay so this is actually a concentration so 
I mean the results is, is the same so here is the same result but something that you can do is that you can create contours okay so you can create contours yeah and these contours will delineate And these contours will delineate how the concentration is how where is the concentration of zero point wait, wait. where is the concentration of zero point two, zero point one, and so on. Okay, so actually I can delete this. Okay. Great. So this is great because actually you can have and then you can delineate okay so say okay where is the where is the area that will have like concentration of around 0 0.2 is really smaller even than the concentration of 0 0.1 okay and then from this you can assess the impact to the environment so okay so thank you for following us thank you for following these three parts of the tutorial uh, we hope that you find this interesting and then you apply because uh, we try that this tutorial will be the closest tutorial to what is a real problem yeah and as well we want to bring you a complete so well the best approach to complete solution because um, and I strongly recommend that you follow you do all the tutorials available also in, in open form because you require practice but with with your effort and this reference you will create your own mixing zone models okay thank you for following us if you like our videos and if you like our content uh, sign up for our social networks to this youtube channel as well and to our newsletter why not we are from hatri labs and see you in coming tutorials. Bye bye. Bye.